Hello guys, uh, today I'm going to show you uh, how to configure uh, Palo Alto Global Protect internal gateway uh, which could be used for uh, user mapping. Before I start config, I can show you my diagram. I do have my external IP address which is 192.168.10.12. Uh, I'm using loopback for my external gateway on Global Protect which is .13 and my internal network is 10.0.10.0 .10 slash 24 and .1 is obviously my uh, trusted uh, interface uh, 1 slash 2 I already pre-configured uh, Global Protect from my previous video so if you are interested to, to know how to configure uh, Global Protect using SAMO uh, you can watch my, one of my previous videos where I show you this Today I'm just going to show how to configure the internal gateway uh, using SAML. Uh, to start this, uh, one thing that is important is that you need to use uh, internal host detection, which means you need to have a uh, uh, you know, server uh, with uh, reverse DNS, should be configured for the IP address of, of that you, um, you configure to detect when uh, the device is inside the, the network. In my case, I'll have this uh, IP address configured. So we can uh, check this, for example, and go and check uh, ping a Here you can see that I have reverse DNS uh, with the uh, host name uh, fw1 dot uh, my domain name. Um, if we test, we can see that Global Protect should work now as a external gateway. You can log in. So at the moment, obviously, we use uh, my external gateway even though uh, I'm inside the network at the moment. It should give me uh, my public IP address. So if we check, we can see I have uh, 192.168, that's, that's, the, that's the gateway, um, the portal, sorry. You know, it's give me, and this is the the IP address that I'm I'm getting when I'm connected to to the VPN. So I have this uh, EVNG diagram here is only for uh, purpose as a diagram basically. Uh, but I'm using um, VMware uh, to 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 do the configuration because it will be easy for me to switch from uh, inside the network and outside the network to be able to demonstrate you otherwise uh, the free version of uh, EVNG is not allowing me to uh, you know disconnect the device and connect it from outside um, when the device is uh, powered on so first thing is that as I said you need to have uh, reverse DNS uh, configured also, I already have uh, my uh, external gateway and my uh, portal. So, the two things that you need to change um, in the portal. One is the application bit and here the connection method should be um, user logon always on. And also you need to configure um, the internal host detection. So in my case will be uh, the IP on my uh, trusted interface and the hosting will be firewall1.techcrappy.com Also I need to configure the internal gateways which will be, I can just give a name, internal gateway FQDN will be firewall1 Therapy.com and source address you can see you can have a whole subnet or uh, specific I'm just gonna uh, 
at 10, 0, 10, slash 4. And that should be it for your um, portal. Then we will need to configure um, certificates for the internal gateway. You can just call it internal host. Common name will be my firewall one. Com you'll be signed from the trusted CA and that should be it so that's my uh, certificate that we will need to use to create um, SSL TOS service profile you can just put internal okay uh, and create and turn the host okay so once we've done this the next bit we need to do is just create the, the gateway so we have the external gateway now we just have to create internal gp gateway, internal interface will be uh, one slash two and the IP address authentication we will choose the one we just created authentication will be demo authentication and we can choose SAML profile, which is already configured. As I say in my previous video, I show how to configure uh, the external gateway, including the whole step in Azure, to configure the SAML. We just want to use this and click OK. And that should be it. If you want to use a um, tunnel interface for inside, you can then configure tunnel mode, but in our case, I don't need this and this is all we need to configure we click commit uh, while we're committing um, I can show you another thing that you need to add additional to Azure so when you come to your summer configuration in Azure and come to single sign-on here is my external gateway for SAML to authenticate. If you you need to add uh, your internal gateway uh, IP as well, or in my case, my domain, you know, basically exactly copy same thing from the top, your default one, and just uh, paste it here and change the, the IP address. You have to do it here and an identifier and also on the reply URL. You need to do this on both places. Obviously leave default to be your external one because the firewall need to uh, authenticate first on your external gateway and then we'll uh, prompt you to for your internal gateway and this is all you need to do uh, in the Azure that's the only difference compare if you have only external gateway okay we have this already and uh, we can now go and test with the PC if what we've done it's working as it should be at the moment uh, probably doesn't detect because usually supposed to check to change but let's say refresh connection see if it's gonna work yeah you can see straight away it says connected to internal I can go now and change my PC prepared to be uh, outside so I can go and just change it and now should uh, automatically detect this change it and uh, should connect to the external like you are at home for example
you can see it's, uh, it's connecting to the external you can see that's the portal gateway IP address and the uh, internal IP address that is connected and that's the portal obviously portal will always will be same if you go back now to the office it should connect you to internal gateway it is possible not to show you straight away that you're connected the reason for is because Palo Out Global Protect has a um, particular time that is checking uh, if something changed so in our situation because it's happened straight away uh, it might not uh, change it to internal gateway but in the real life scenario let's say if you're home and you, you go to the office obviously you'll be a uh, the time will expired and uh, and should connect you directly to the to the gateway as you see now it doesn't uh, if i do refresh the connection it should uh, uh, connect me straight away it's detecting that uh, we are inside uh, let's say if we go and uh, do a test and open some web page it doesn't matter let's say okay see bbc.com and we go to the firewall and you can see here now it says uh, that's my IP and show straight away it's mapping uh, the user and you can see all the information so that was it uh, very easy I would say if you have any questions or you know you struggle with something you know give me a comment uh, and I, I can try to help also, if you need to learn more about Global Protect and some of, watch some of my other videos, um, and then you can come back to this one uh, to finish over. Thank you very much. See you again.